All right, everyone loves a breakfast burrito, but I'm gonna show you how to make one that's super easy and super delicious. I always keep onions minced up in the bag, just ready to go. You're gonna need some mild cheddar for later on. You're gonna need some sort of green pepper sauce or something that's a little bit spicy. You can also use like a red salsa, that's beautiful. Um, two eggs. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of ketchup in with this just to add some acidity. Mix of uh, brisket, it's flat and point. So whatever meat you want, you can use ham, cheese, whatever, um, turkey, whatever kind of meat you want that's pre-cooked. I use probably maybe a quarter of a decently sized onion and you just saute that and let that um, simmer down now. Now that they're softer and got a little bit of color on them, caramelization will start to set in. We're gonna add the meat. You can always cook them until they're super soft. I like them like this, so they're a little bit crunchy. And that's pretty good. The meat's already cooked, so we don't want to cook it again. We just want to heat it through. And it's starting to break apart, so that's nice and good. Put your eggs in here and pop the yolks. And all you do is just mix everything together. There's no seasonings in here yet. I've read that the eggs can turn a little watery when you uh, add salt to it before they're done. So we're just gonna mix it up and it won't take long at all. Now they're not done yet, but uh, this time we're gonna go ahead and shove them to one side. And this is where we're gonna season them a little bit. I've got salt, garlic, pepper, cayenne pepper, and chipotle powder and onion powder. Um, this is my all seasoning blend I make and put a decent amount on there because we love flavor. Cook for about 30 seconds or so and heat through. We're gonna put as much cheese as you want, want on it. And then we're gonna get some of our hatch green chili pepper. Now, it'll eventually come out. Stuff has got a little bit of heat, but not too much, it's great. Put that on top. And call it blasphemous, but I like just a little drizzle. You're gonna get a eight to 10 inch flour tortilla. Get it wet on both sides and you're gonna stick it on here. That's gonna kind of steam it up and turn it from something that can easily break to something that's really stretchy, um, almost like gum. 20 seconds on each side, you're gonna go ahead and flip it. It's already getting really soft and, and pliable. See how that is? It's just easy to wrap the burrito without it breaking. Okay. Or you can just wrap your burrito. Let's see if we can do it one-handed. It's gonna be tough. Hey, you've got a super soft flour tortilla. You can throw it on the skillet for another minute or two and kind of brown it up and get it a little bit tougher on the outside, brown it, um, or you can eat it as is. Just to show you, I put it on here just to brown it. It's been on here about 30 seconds and it's got a nice little hard crunch to it. So we're gonna let the other side cook for another 30 seconds or so and then it's breakfast time.